Do you want to learn Revit? Or you need training material for your business? Join thousands of users and download the Revit Pure Basics Learning Package. It is the most fun and efficient way to learn Revit. It contains an ebook, video tutorials, a template, and an exercise project. Learn more at revitpure.com basics or check the link in the description below. In Revit, it is possible to modify the join type of all handrails and top rails. You can pick between Meter, which is the default and creates orthogonal joints, and Fillet, which creates curved joints. In this example, we select the railing and click on Edit Type. Then, click on the three small dots next to the top rail type to access the properties. The joint property is the very first one here. It is currently set to Meter, creating orthogonal joints. Switch it to Fillet, and the Fillet Radius parameter will become available. In this example, we test the feature with a value of 50mm. Click on Apply, then OK. As you can see, all horizontal and vertical joints are affected by the change. Hit Ctrl-Z to go back to the original version of the railing. We are going to showcase another technique to get the same result, but this time affecting individual joints instead of all the joints. Put your cursor over the top rail. Press the tab button to cycle and only select the top rail. Then click Edit Rail. Click on Edit Path. Click on Edit Rail Joints. Then click on the specific join in the 3D view. In the properties, switch the parameter from by type to fill it. Set a radius value. In this case, we again use a value of 50 millimeters. We can also try using a different value. This is for a horizontal join. Let's try again, but this time on a vertical join. Repeat the same process. By playing with the fillet radius value, you might get a warning. That's because the fillet radius value is too big and would cause conflict with the neighboring join. Use the value consequently. That's it, pretty easy to use and very helpful. Just something to be mindful about, this might cause some strange placement for balusters. More on that on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to the channel and check out the basics learning package.